In today's video, I get a new booth at Dragonfly Antiques. With only a slight interruption for a new vintage mid-century couch. Well, new to me. Hey there, my name is Kathy. Welcome to the Junk Shack, baby. Here is the last look at the old booth. Really, honey, it's me, not you, that's making me leave. Look at this couch. I just pulled the tag because it is so cool, but I have to take everything off of it and look at it really good. But I'm buying this couch as long as there's no rips and it looks as good as this does. This, this piece of furniture right here is my dream couch. I am so in love with this piece. And the best part is I only had to pay $90. Yay! Look at that bed. Actually, I did not know that this was a futon kind of bed when I bought it. That was a great surprise. Okay, enough of my cool new couch. Let's get back to moving to the new booth. I did all of this by myself. And let me tell you, it was not easy moving these shelves by myself. But guess what? Your girl did it. And it was hot as H-E double hockey sticks. When this spot came up, I jumped right on it because it's a lot closer to the front register. When I work, I can't go all the way to the back and hang out back there. I need to be up front to check the people out and, you know, greet them when they come in. So this is right just a little bit away, and I can see the register from that spot. So... Uh, I moved right into it. I have been doing a lot of research on opening an online store. So, hopefully, maybe, by the first of the year, some of the items you see in my videos will actually be for sale online. And if you absolutely love them, there's the opportunity to buy them. By saying this to all of you guys, it's a commitment that I must fulfill. As I said before, um, I wanted to get closer to the front counter uh, so that I could work on this booth while I am working at the store. Before, I just wouldn't work on it, and sometimes I didn't even go back there and check on it, which is a big no-no in this industry. You have to stay on top of these things, 
and just shaking it up like this and moving it around has helped me already sell a bunch of new things. So, leave me a comment down below. Should I have stayed in the big booth and risked not spending as much time on it? Or should I have moved closer to the register so that every time I'm in there working, I have the opportunity to work, you know, add things to it, switch it all up? I'd love to know what your thoughts are. As with any of these videos, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you guys on the junk side. Take care. Until next time.